All right, so this is the Cessna 172. This is a G1000 setup in the cockpit. As you can see, there's just two giant LCD screens instead of the uh, traditional round dials here. Um, basically, I'll just show you how to start this point up. Um, basically, um, you just have to follow the checklist and just tells you what to do. So first, throttle control, put in about a quarter inch in. Mixture is an idle cutoff. And this you want to test the standby battery so that in case you lose your principal battery, uh, you know that it will work for about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll just hold it in a test and we'll see the green light is on for about 20 seconds. Lights down for 20 seconds and I flipped it to the arm position and then this screen will be turning on shortly. This is called the PFD, the primary flight display. Um, it'll show you, yeah, this is now it's starting up. It's aligning right now. And here's your engine parameters and this is your um, pitch or attitude, your airspeed, altitude, and then this is your heading. So right now we're just checking for parameters and that there are no red X's, which I don't see. Um, we're checking the bus E volts right there, making sure it's about 24. That's good enough. Um, the M volts is one and a half or less. That's good. Um, and then battery S amps negative. This checklist says that's good. And then standby battery enunciator is on. Probably area is clear. All right, then we turn the battery on and turn the beacon light on to signify that we're about to start our engine. And then now we're just gonna inject the engine with some fuel so that we get a good startup. So we put the mixture in the full rich. And we'll pump switch on, and then we'll see a rise in the fuel flow for about five seconds. <laughs> Now we're gonna start the engine. Clear prop. Oh, tried it again. Clear prop. Okay, try to inject the fuel the engine again. That's how you start a Cessna 172.